We could hear the propane tanks exploding as the fire was getting closer to us. Boom! So that was kind of our key, how fast it was moving, because they were getting louder as it was getting closer. At uh, about 7.45 or so, we just hear the, the bang on the door. And then I hear them, Terry, you guys got to get out. You got to get out. We load up, and we end up going down to the campground where our motorhome was staying. And I realized that our, our ch- chihuahua was missing. Our little one just started breaking down. And I said, don't worry, we'll, we'll go get him. By this time, the smoke was so thick and ashes were falling on us that we were, we were choking. But I walked inside the house, and there he was in his kennel, grabbed him and got out of there. So we get here, and we're thinking we're going to see maybe two or three people. And there was like 10 to 12 people that just kept rolling in and, you know, asking us, where can we help? What can we do? We left out of here after we came back to get the the Chihuahua at 920. And the watch we found, the hands are burnt at 927. So that means our house burnt down seven minutes after I left. Wow. We could have We could have died, you know. Oh, my gosh. Just getting the help here and doing all that they did, you know, just makes you feel like you're not alone. You're cared for. You have people around here who care and Mm -hmm. and, want to help out. I thought I was staying pretty strong (laughs) until they brought us a Bible signed by everybody that helped. So yeah, so Jesus sent us from all over the world, all over the United States to come and bless you because he loves you. He sent us here personally for you guys because it breaks his heart that you're going through this and he is with you through this. We lost our Bibles. And to get that from people that we don't know. I mean, there are people from England here. Bless you. Do you know how that did? We just felt like God called us out here. for that desire in our heart to come out and just to, just to show people his love. It's so good to finish in prayer and pray with the, the family. It's just been more than what we could ever imagine. I think if you feel God's calling you um, to come and do something like this, then just go for it. Especially in a crisis situation like this, it's such an opportunity to work for God. All the love and the support and the prayers, it really helps. It helps knowing we're not alone. It helps to know that people understand. And it really helps that people are willing to come in the rain and sift through ashes and soot to help you get closure.